So not even 48 hours later, our Nova on XDA updated the ported Google Camera app for the OnePlus 6. That last update got Night Sight to work, but the latest update actually makes it work with the T-Mobile OnePlus 6T as well. I'll leave a link in the description so you can download and install it. If you need instructions on how to do this, just check out my last video where I quickly go over the installation in the first 30 seconds of the video. This is just going to be a quick follow-up, but there are a few things to discuss, so let's dig into it. Now, I've pointed this out before, but the stock camera app of the OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 6T both do really well at night. In my personal opinion, I think the ported Google camera app does a lot better than the stock OnePlus camera app during the day, but at night, the OnePlus's camera does a really good job, better than what Gcam provides and in a lot of instances in my testing, better clarity than the Pixel 3. But Night Sight is a different story. I know that the OnePlus 6 and OnePlus 6T pretty much use the same hardware, but I still wanted to see if there was a difference between the two. You'll see that as I flip flop these pictures, the OnePlus 6 casts a warmer hue than the 6T. The sky with orange hues on the 6 while much bluer on the 6T. And this isn't the only time you see it here. This is a recurring theme, which is why I'm pointing it out. Now, when we take a look at shooting with Night Sight, the Pixel 3 has the much more pleasant looking shot in terms of white balance, but the Pixel 3 also has a ton more clarity and detail. Here's the thing though, take a look at the sky again with the OnePlus phones using Night Sight. The OnePlus 6 is still shooting with hues of orange and red in the sky, the 6T is not. But both of these phones are shooting with Gcam here, the same exact version. So there might be a slight change in optics, I really don't think so, maybe it's a quality issue but it's too early in my testing to tell and I'd really like to make sure before I make any conclusions. Also real quick, I know some had suggested to shoot using the fluorescent mode to alleviate that yellow hue the OnePlus gives off when using Night Sight but everything gets way orange. I'll come back to this later in the video so keep this in mind. In this second set of shots, again the OnePlus 6 and 6T do a really good job shooting at night with its stock camera app. The detail is really impressive, on par or even a little better than the Pixel 3, but again the white balance isn't the most pleasant thing to look at. You can see how the 6 has the warmer orange tone, the 6T with the cooler tone but a lot more yellow here. With Night Sight, that orange and yellow hue is even more accentuated. The stock camera shots are much better here. Now, the Pixel 3 is fantastic, great color, clarity, and detail throughout. Again, notice the 6 and 6T come off with different white balances here. Using Night Sight, we have a bit more of the same, the Pixel 3 adding more clarity and detail, while the 6 and 6T just tend to brighten the shot a bit more. So, Let's get into even darker environments and see where Night Sight can be beneficial for the OnePlus phones. So in this set of shots with a dark foreground, Night Sight is able to really brighten up the entire picture with the OnePlus 6 and 6T. And this is where Night Sight is able to do its work. And while it's benefited the Pixel 3 in almost every shot, this is where I see it make its bigger impact for OnePlus. The first thing you'll notice here is that I badly need a haircut. Anyway, you can see how Night Sight really improves difficult lighting situations. Unfortunately, at this level of darkness, both OnePlus phones had a really hard time autofocusing on me, so it ended up with a really blurred shot. I remember earlier when I was using the fluorescent white balance that made everything too orange, I noticed that changing it to tungsten actually helped cool things down a bit. Night Sight still needs a bit of work in this department. For one, I couldn't even get the 6 to properly focus, and I tried it over and over and over and over on my OnePlus 6, but it could not focus. I did take a shot without me in it to see if the blurring issue was in fact because of autofocus on a subject. Here the 6 did a really good job using Night Sight in its tungsten mode, so it definitely works and is a good way of getting a better white balance. I've seen people in the comments ask why even use Gcam on the OnePlus phones, just get a pixel. And I think some people miss the point here. For one, 
$800 for a Pixel 3 is way above their price point. In my opinion, it's way above a lot of people's price points, myself included. And that's not to take anything away from the Pixel 3, because the 3, while expensive, is shaping up to be one of my favorite phones yet. When T-Mobile advertised they were taking $300 off almost any older phone you trade in for the 6T, I couldn't say no to buying one for essentially $280, or sharing this info with friends to let them know that it's probably the best deal you're going to see in a while. The Google camera port already shows that hardware isn't everything, that software plays a big part in this too. Night Sight is an even bigger indicator for that. And so while the hardworking folks at XDA continue to improve on Gcam with the OnePlus phones, I'm going to continue to cover what a lot of people won't, and it's that your camera phone is a lot more capable than you think.